What's going on boys and girls? If you missed the unboxing video from about a week and a half or two weeks ago now, uh, we actually got the new integrated engineering high pressure fuel pump in. Uh, now what this fuel pump allows us to do is as you can see in the title of this video, run an ethanol blend. Uh, essentially what it is is it's bigger internals or rather internals that flow more fuel. Uh, and what that's gonna allow us to do is raise the amount of fuel that we can give to the engine and that will ultimately allow us to run ethanol because that does require more volume of fuel than running uh, just straight 93 octane. Uh, you'll hear me touch on this a little later in the video, but it is very important to get your ethanol calculations correct. There are some ethanol calculators online. I would highly advise you to use that to make sure you understand what's going in your car as far as uh, the numbers that you need to, to kind of average out the blend. For the SQ5, I'm using a 19.8 gallon fuel tank as reference. With that, knowing the ethanol content of my local E85 station is around 70%, it can vary. I need, I've seen anything from like 60% up to the full 85%. Um, knowing the content of my local station, I've worked out the math at 10 gallons of E85 along with 9.8 gallons of 93 octane, which is actually 10% ethanol, uh, balances out to a uh, E40 ratio. So make sure to do that math on your own. Uh, huge thanks to Integrated Engineer for sponsoring this video. And just real quick, I know the price point of their fuel pump is pretty high. When you look at it, it's right around $1,000. You do have to keep in mind that one, it comes with an 18-month warranty, and two, uh, the reason that it does that is because they're supplying a brand brand new OEM pump. So there's no more fussing around with internals. The internals alone on my Autotech setup were around $400. So uh, for that extra 600, you're getting a brand new fuel pump and you're getting an 18 month warranty. Keep that in mind when you're buying. Uh, it's definitely not for everybody, but if you do want to run ethanol or if you're running into fuel cut issues on 93, which seems to be fairly rare, uh, make sure to uh, check out the product. It'll be at the top description. And action. And action, oh boy. What's up boys and girls? It's very dark in here because we may or may not be doing this in a certain parking garage. Um, but today, we are... Actually, how am I gonna get to that without taking this out? I'm gonna have to take this out. Um, today we're gonna install the integrated fuel pump on my car, which means we can run ethanol. So, as you've seen in the title of this video, putting ethanol in the SQ5 today. All right, so here's where we're at. Um, we've taken the whole intake out. There's two 10 millimeter bolts that stick on here that pull the heat shield off. From there, we need to remove this bolt and this fitting. These are two separate pieces, as you can see in here. Can you see that? They're two separate pieces, this and that. Um, so what we did is there's a T30 Torx back here that allow you to lift this hard line up a little more. From there, we're taking this fitting out, and the hope is that with this one out, we'll be able to get to this fitting down here, which is notoriously difficult. Um, we can't get this clamp off to pull up on. I'm just about to be able to get this guy out, and this will get swapped into the new, this that you can see, will get swapped into the new fuel pump uh, in the same exact spot. One thing I realized I didn't mention here very well is what you have to swap over to the new fuel pump. Now, if you have one in your hands, obviously you understand, but if you're looking at this video for research purposes, uh, essentially what you're doing is you're gonna take that uh, two fittings on top of the fuel pump. Those are fuel lines. There's a hard line and a soft line. You're gonna disconnect those lines and also pull the fittings out. Those fittings will then go into the new fuel pump. Easiest to do those while the fuel pump is still attached to the car because then you can get some actual leverage on it. Now on the bottom of the fuel pump, there is two connectors, electrical connectors. One comes supplied with the integrated fuel pump. The other one you're going to need to disconnect from your current fuel pump and swap over to the new one. Uh, an adjustable wrench works really well for pretty much all of these. That's all we really needed. Uh, we could have gone and gotten the exact sizes and probably been a little bit safer, but had no issues with uh, using an adjustable wrench. So we got the soft line out, which is right here. Fun fact, we didn't have to undo any of the quick disconnects. We literally just twisted it and twisted it once we got it loose. Um, and now it's sitting here and it's actually twisted the right amount. So when we put it back in, we should be able to just twist it right back down and get it tight that way. Um, now what we're using is a uh, triple square, which if you don't know what a triple square is, I've touched on it in other videos, you need a triple square for this. This is not a Torx bit. This is a 12 sided bolt. Um, and we're uh, just using the kind of universal, whatever you call this thing, uh, to get up at one side, one side, one side, one side. Um, and uh, it should be out soon, hopefully. All right, so this is, Alex and I just got this one loose. It took quite a bit of effort, but we were able to do it out of the car. Um, this just unthreads, ooh, oopsies. Well, fuel comes out of that. <laughs> fuel comes out of the fuel pump when you do that. <laughs> When, you take it, when you're taking it out and when you're putting it back in, you wanna make sure 
it should be like this. You want to make sure that you're going a little on one side, a little on the other, a little, 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 because if you do a lot, the fuel pump's going to get at such an angle that you're either going to strip the one that you're putting in or you're not going to be able to get the other one. So a little thread, a little thread, a little thread, a little thread, pain in the butt on the SQ5 because we have to go from the bottom, um, and it's very difficult, but we're going to do our best. So uh, get this uh, new one in once it's in the car. Um, but yeah, just tighten this down, and we'll, uh, we'll stick it back in, and we'll be ready to run some ethanol. All right. Everything's back together. Fingers crossed. We're starting with no intake. Don't do this at home. <laughs> Before we start the car, it is very important without my foot on the brake to turn the car on. And this is actually going to start building fuel pressure. If you had a Mark V GTI back in the day, you would have done this uh, with your cam follower changes. Leave it on for about five seconds. Shut it off. Make sure it actually turns off. Usually you have to hit it twice. And then go ahead and turn it on again. Again, with not hitting the brake. Cycle this about three times, and what that's going to do is allow you to build up fuel pressure. All right, uh, Alex, oh, I should not get a copyright straight. Alex has not felt uh, single pulley action yet. Oh, look, dual there's a car, pulley. dual pulley. Guess we'll have to hit it. I saw traction come on. Did it? Yeah, these Me <laughs> these Mexico roads, man, unbelievable. There's, uh, there's a lot of salt in Mexico. Yeah. It snowed in Mexico. That's, that's crazy. A yeah, it's global warming. All right, third gear on. That's fourth. Let's hit fourth. I'll show you the torques. Oh yeah. Very right, nice. Now we gotta go get some ethanol so that Alex can experience the full sauce along with me experience the full sauce. I think I might S4 on ethanol once. Once. I don't remember. I think I did it once. I did not think I was in the car. I know the gas station where we're going to has about 70% ethanol right now. My friend Fernando measured it. Thank you. Um, so uh, with 10 gallons of E70 along with 9.8 gallons of E10, which is just regular 93 octane, um, that should put us right at uh, E40. Ooh. Oh, Alright boys, well, that fuel pump install wasn't awful. Like I was saying, uh, it's pretty important to get this E40 blend correct. Um, so if you haven't bought like a manual measuring tool, I would definitely recommend buying one of those. Filling up, you know, maybe five gallons at your local E85 station. And then uh, taking that home, measuring it, and coming back and getting the rest. Too little ethanol can cause engine damaging knock. Too much ethanol can cause the fuel system to run out of flow and the engine to go lean. Filming, not logging. We're filming? We're not logging, no. Right, let me know when you're good. Now we're logging. Oh, that's oh, faster. Shit. That's faster. Oh my god. Whoa. Holy that's crap. That's definitely faster. All right, here we go. A little first gear rip. Hopefully we don't get pulled over. Oh. <laughs> traction control yeah, kicked in at first traction. gear. I'm gonna hit it in third. I'm gonna roll on in third, yeah. okay? Yeah. Wow. Close course professional driver. Yeah, close course professional driver. Okay, so third gear at 45 miles an hour. I'm gonna hit it. We're flat now, going uphill actually. 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. Now I gotta make this last so I can uh, let my boys at work uh, experience this. So I'm gonna have to hypermile on my way to uh, on my way to work on Monday. <laughs> but I uh, definitely don't get as good gas mileage with ethanol. It requires more volume of fuel, which is why we had to install a fuel pump to run ethanol, uh, which means that your fuel mileage is, is not as good. I'm hoping with E40 it means that I won't be too bad, but I'm not really happy with that. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the car with JR. He's, he's driving the SQ5 for the first time on the ethanol tune and oh everything. Oh my god, this car is fucking doesn't make any sense. It literally makes negative 0.25 cents. Oh my gosh, man. I don't even know where I'm going. Oh, we're going to town. I mean, we're going to Mexico. You're going to Mex Mexico. 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 Only Mexico. Town. Mexico town. I love me, Tijuana.
Pierre, what's your comprehensive review on the car? <laughs> but man, like, so I always, every day I tell Hila his car is slow. I've never ridden in it at full chat. No. And I haven't driven in it. And it just so happens today. that he drives it in its fastest state this is that it's ever been in. ever been. Yeah. And this car is so far from slow. <laughs> <laughs> Good. All right, you want to do a one-two ripperoni? Oh boy! It broke tracks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm uh, in a position that I'm not usually in. Uh, I'm in the back seat of the SQ5. We have Mr. Jacob who helped me install the pulley. Wow, you're just a shadow of a man. Just letting it warm up. Oh, it's already warm. Oh yeah, then you're good. Scoots. That was, oh uh, my god. Holy <laughs> shit. That was that's so much faster, Eli. <laughs> that, wow. was, shit. that was traction control in first that, gear, too. Yeah. That's why I hesitated. That, that was traction Woo. control. I'm just going to do first and then. If you just roll into it in second. second, you'll feel the torque, too. Wow. Damn. It was fast. Do not expect <laughs> this thing to haul ass like that. <laughs> really, just a super unprofessional YouTuber here. <laughs> I, I'm. I'm letting people drive my car and not filming. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dude, this thing is awesome. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I would say that the, uh, the ethanol tune definitely passes. Uh... Definitely passes. <laughs> that was a, uh, a fun time for sure. I'm glad the guys enjoyed the car because I absolutely enjoy the torque as well. Uh, I am back on 93 now. I ran out of E85, but that's okay. Next weekend, I'll go back, fill it up, and do it again. Uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, huge thanks to Integrated Engineering for sponsoring this video. As always, thank you guys for watching. Go out there and spread some positivity, and I will catch you guys in the next video.